literacy uh, technology all move to try to figure out how to, uh, under the economic conditions that I look at, try to make things more individualized, everything more and more individualized, mm -hmm. and also more flexible. The mm -hmm. second condition mm -hmm. is flexibility, allow flexibility. for people to change their mind, more optionality, yeah. and so individualization, more optionality, and then a speed, and so that next wave of the internet, I really believe, is going to be a movement away yeah. from a product focus right. to a consumer focus. So the consumer will actually decide what product they want. Right. You know, right. so instead so of having, so much more flexible in how you would do things, much more individualized, much more uh, the idea that instead of the, the merchant trying to decide how to yes. do things, uh, that uh, it'll be the consumer. So the network that I see developing more is the merchant, the consumer, and then uh, an information highway. And right. how that information highway is used right. to be able to help the merchant and the consumer better fashion a solution that the customer right. wants. And that's the future. But I, I think that the huge effect that's going to happen, I, it's going to change everything, is the idea of I really think that the world is going to move from a transaction processing world, a world in which we have a snapshot, yeah. a world in which we have a T account, you know, yeah. the idea of a balance and a debit yeah. and a credit, to a world of transaction analyzing. Mm -hmm. So the snapshot disappears and it becomes a movie. And what yeah. can you do with the sequence of transactions in life and how that changes all of economics, how it changes all of production, how it changes everything we do. Yep. So I think that that is a, that information highway. Who has yeah. the information highway? Who stores the trans sequence of transactions? Right. Right. Like for example, Alibaba is talking with them in uh, Hangzhou and their model is uh, we, they have transactions from all the merchants, yes. okay? And they have yeah. the customers, they know yeah. the sequence of transactions. Yeah. But do they have the ability to use that information right more efficiently than the merchant who's selling goods and services That's to right. the client. That's no. right. So therefore, the division of labor is that they would provide the highway or the service. They're the blockchain. Yeah. They're the one who validate the trades and the transactions yeah. and then create a way for uh, the merchant and the customer to interface with each other yeah. to make their activities more efficient right. and um, figuring out ways that we can overcome the lack of trust problem, how much information yeah, we yeah, have, yeah. how much information asymmetry there are yeah. in terms of the development of products and services. China has, outside of Beijing, has the largest 3D printer in the world. Uh, it's printing aircraft wings right now, yes. the whole wings. Yeah. You can make them lighter, you can make them stronger yes, and yeah. where you need them to be strong. And, yeah. uh, you know, so I think, and, uh, the combination of, uh, of uh, things in medicine that are being yep. done, the idea of remote medicine, the idea of thinking about who the most efficient ways of using technology in medicine. Yep. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I think as the population ages, generally we'll see uh, many more advances in how to uh, uh, treat people. Uh, the idea of food production, efficiency in food production, yeah. you know, it's very inefficient right now, the way we produce food, yeah. the way we use water, the way we yeah. uh, think about how we handle scarce resources through solar or through um, uh, energy or sensors that actually yeah. make the use of things more efficient. Yeah. All those will come to read. The idea in the United States we have now is the elimination of the grid system. We had yeah. one grid for the whole United States. Oh. But if the grid goes down, then you have no electricity. So many now, over the last years, microgrids have come into place. So you marry in a local community, you, you make it more individualized to the needs of that community again, more optionality, because then yeah. they can put in uh, electricity or wind or solar when solar is there. The storage of solar, I batteries, and things I are going to really store things. So you know, I just think it's unlimited. They